Hello everyone, this is Sir Cloud on behalf of Dota Tavern. This is the first video of April 2019 and as per my last video, I mentioned that we are going to start a monthly giveaway. So this month's giveaway is actually pinned at the Dota Tavern Facebook page. So head on to there, share with your friends because actually that is part of how you get into the giveaway. And what I'm giving away this month is two steam wallet vouchers worth of 20 ringgit each so i'm going to select two winners at the end of the month uh, which i will announce early in may all right moving on to the video of the day um, i'm going to talk about winners of the patch 7.21d now i'm going to start off with the first one which is sand king so sand king has a win rate before this of about 48 percent and now ever since the new patch it has increased to about 50.5 percent which is a 2.5 percent increase what has made sand king successful in this patch is the sandstorm damage increase as well as burrow strike cast range increase now it's interesting for sand king because ever since they changed how sandstorm works that sandstorm can no longer be cancelled by channeling and uh, sand king can also move around that one area within that sandstorm so like those single target or area target heroes cannot hit sand king anymore just at that single spot plus with this change of making it uh, increase damage as well as uh, bonus strike cast range normally this can also be combined together depending on how the player goes so this has become very successful for sand king uh, with the damage increase definitely helps Sand King to farm very well using this skill so it's, even before this it has been one of the key skills in, in terms of farming uh, combined with the other attack skills as well uh, so Sand King has increased its value in terms of farming plus increased the, the win rate as we can see here next up on the second place would be Templar Assassin now Templar Assassin has a previous win rate of about 43% it has increased to 47% which is a good 4% increase right so things that have changed for Templar as Assassin since is uh, agility gain increased from 2.8 to 3.2 and melt debuff duration increased from 10 to 12 now the melt debuff actually is a very good skill where, wherever whether it's early game mid game or late game because just because it's melt debuff it gives very early debuff on uh, the armor All right so this is how the sequence goes if you were to put in practicality mode when you cast that what happens is that it first applies the armor debuff and then the templar assassin attack damage and then only the melt damage right so what does this mean is that because it casts the armor debuff first there is a possibility well actually not a possibility but okay you can say it's a possibility depending on what armor or other spells that the enemy has that the damage overall would be way higher because of that because of the sequence how it is programmed so it has seemed to pick up in terms of win rate and thus congratulations to people who like Templar Assassin to use them probably very formidable in the mid lane and this has been very successful for Templar Assassin moving on to the top spot okay the top spot on Grove Draw Ranger so Draw Ranger previously have a win rate of 48% it has since increased to 53% which is a 5% increase. Now, just to recap on what has been good for Draw Ranger, agility gain increased from 2.5 to 2.8, and base agility increased by 6. All right, so Draw Ranger is very agility-based type of hero, so it very depends on the agility amount because of the attack speed and uh, combined with some of the other stats that uh, draw ranger comes together together with the uh, together with the rt and all that so it makes draw ranger very dangerous if someone were to be able to pump the agility so with this increase of agility it gives a very good advantage to draw ranger very obviously uh, in fact if we just look back at 7.20b 
the base agility has increased since from 19 to 29. So that's like 10. So it continues to increase in terms of uh, buffing up this hero. And buffing up this hero in, in, in agility only, it may sound simple, but the end effect is actually quite strong. So Draw Ranger has been quite a strong hero. And through statistics that show this increase, he has been a very formidable hero in the pub scene. Now, these are the three winners so far of patch 7.21D. So, tell me in the comments below, who do you guys think are your favorite winners ever since this patch? Were other heroes also affected because other heroes were nerfed? And things like that, I'd like to hear what you think about it. And don't forget to head on to our Facebook page because that is where we are doing our giveaway. And yes, share with your friends, like, comment, do all that lovely gist because I love you guys as much. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a good April. Oh, <laughs>